Yes, you know the vibes, man. It's DB215. I'm back with another one. Let you know where I'm coming from. I got big sis with me. Talk to him. It's Tyler. Tyler. You know, from New York City. Get your fucking thoughts straight. You heard me? Yo, we talking about chicks getting flown out. Who's worth it and who's not? Controversial conversation. Who's worth getting flown out? <laughs> Ask yourself. You know what I'm saying? If a nigga won't pop you from down the street, Bob. Listen. We fly you all the way to Miami. Listen. listen. Or out the country. Hey, listen. Can you break down to them who's worth getting flown out? What, what's the credibility of a chick getting flown out? What, what, what makes it credible? Credible of getting flown out. Okay, so in my opinion, we can start there. In my opinion, no female should ever feel like they are going to get flown out and nothing is going to be expected of them. That's number one. That's number one. I don't understand why females feel like just because a guy asks you to fly out, you're not supposed to put out, you're not supposed to put out no money, you're not supposed to do nothing, you're supposed to just go and look pretty like money don't grow on trees that's respectfully respectfully and like no you're, there's no way that somebody's gonna fly you out and you're just gonna be like getting chauffeured around getting fed well all of that and nothing's gonna be expected of you that's you're bugging you're bugging but at the end so that means though if you are not interested in a guy don't take the offer don't don't take the offer you bugging? Are you stupid? Like, on the other side, uh -huh. I don't feel that the guy should expect you to put out and all that stuff. But, you know, that's just the way it is. You know, men think that way. And I'm sure if a woman was a millionaire and flew a guy out, she wouldn't just expect him to just sit there looking handsome. Like, she'd expect him to give her some. True story. So, I don't understand that, but... Man. I understand. I, I don't understand why girls put themselves in a situation to be put out of hotel rooms, <laughs> flights canceled on them, all this. Like, they're kicking you out, they're embarrassing you, recording you, and all that stuff. You put yourself in that situation because you knew from the time you was leaving to get on a plane that you wasn't interested. Mm -hmm. Then you got to the other end, thought everything was going to be sweet. Mm -hmm. Then he asked for some poom poom. Now you're like, oh yeah, no, nah, like you do it too much and don't expect him to get mad. Yeah. Like, come on, man. come on. Come ain't on. no way somebody gonna fly across the world and think they ain't gonna get none. You kidding me? That was the whole purpose. Spinning bands, like best you know room, saying? like sweet like, room. That was, like they going all out, you know what I'm saying? They, they breaking the bank mm -hmm. and thinking this is what it is. They, they think it's set out for them. And you ain't about to act hasa diddy and act <laughs> like you ain't about to put out when the dude done cut all kind of checks. So you kind of got to look at it in the sense of he, he he sacrificed you. You know what I'm saying? Like that was a sacrifice because honestly, he didn't feel like chasing down no girl in the city because they probably was bullshitting or he didn't feel like them. He just wanted some out of town cookie. You were just some out of town cookie. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter if you're from Delaware, Virginia, California, fucking Virginia. You know what I mean? New York. It don't matter where you're from. The dude wanted some out of town. And he, guess what? He invested in you. So you can't take back what you thought. I mean, what he thought was going to happen. You know what I'm saying? You can't do that. That ain't, that ain't a part of the plan. That's just not how it works. You know what I'm saying? And that's just not how I work. You know what I'm saying? I seen people do that. And I was just like, Y'all goofy for that. I would never fly no girl into this joint unless I already know her. You know what I'm saying? And know that she wants you. Exactly. If, if, what's the point of flying all the way with somebody to Dubai? They paying for everything. Tickets, room, um, what you call them things? Um, the things for you to do, activities for you to do out yeah, there. All the food. festivities, the festivities. Right, like right, all right. of this, excursions, that's the word right. I was looking for. All, all this stuff. Right. And you just no, you're not putting out a dime, and now you a think dime. you're just gonna sleep next to him comfortably every night in the you're, bed. You a fucking leech. And I do nothing. Like, you're a fucking come on, leech. you didn't think that through. Come on, at the you're end of the day, you leech. as a female did not think that through. You're a fucking leech. You 
you an international whore. At the end of the day, you an international whore. Ain't nobody trying to hang none of that shit, man. Respectfully, though. Come on, man. Get yourself yeah. right, man. Mm, I understand you know both sides. Where... That's why I think things got to be disgusted. Everything in detail got to be disgusted. Right. Before these niggas, the phone, these niggas be thirsty on what they see, but they don't know what the girls bring to the table. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They will go ahead and go all above and beyond and put all that bread out and do this, that, and the third. And guess what? She probably got only intentions to spend his money and get out of mm-hmm. there. Get out of there. Not give him a dime. Mm-hmm. Not give him no pussy. Not give him no head. Everything got to be disgusted. Yeah. That's how you actually stone. Because That's how I feel. Never. Like, you can't do that. And nobody will ever put me in a predicament where they're recording me saying, calling you out your name and all this. Because now they didn't lost all respect for you because you they sat up there and let them spend all their money knowing you wasn't interested. And now they want you to put out you don't want to. Now y'all arguing. All that. Now you're getting called out your name. Like, you're not being treated like a lady no more. Like, why would you put yourself in that position? That just makes no sense. Why would you put yourself in that position? I ain't seen too many videos. And the shit is embarrassing. Are you dumb? The shit is embarrassing. Are you stupid? Like, because if you if you could not put out for uh, somebody that's right around the corner. Right. Like, you're not going to let somebody fly you out to a whole other state or country and not ex- like, come on, you don't get think no about pussy it. in your city. Think they about don't even it. like you. You just flying somebody out because you listen, listen. I'm gonna tell you like this. So, a person like that that will do all of that can't get no access to no pussy in their arms reach. So they reaching out of state where people don't know them and they don't know what they on, and they fly them over here, and then the people that get flown over here, realize what they own, and they do the same thing to the people that's already here. You goof troop, the fuck out of here. You stupid fuck nigga. Don't nobody want to fuck with you, you stupid ass nigga. Nobody playing with none of that, man. You know what I'm saying? It don't, it don't, listen, it don't mean none of that, man. It don't, it don't, it don't take, it don't take no out of state girl. Like an out of state girl see what you bout off the top because women examine stuff and they know how to figure out what they want to deal with from three seconds of their life opposed to a girl that's already in the hood that already know that you ain't you ain't that type of person. I mean, so you could drop on top of bags and act like you that. And you know what I'm saying? You get in the city, but really, you just a lame with some bread. So a lame with some bread, when she figure out you a lame, you ain't getting none of that boom time. You getting none of that. And then you're going to get mad. You know what I'm saying? No sense makes no sense. Come on, man. Makes no sense. I mean, you know the vibes, man. Uh, That's correct. Yeah, no. yeah, you know the vibes, man. It's DP215. And Talk to Ty from NYC. Yeah, you back with another one. Let you know where I'm coming from. Mm-hmm. Add me on the sign. IG at Give Me Tyler. G-I-V-E-M-E-T-Y-L-A-R. Give Me Tyler. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, I'm back with another one. Throw up the sign, I shall arrive. You understand me? That's why I make these videos because people that don't understand don't understand me. You feel me? Controversial conversation. Why would I come on a platform like this and not give you the real me when me and Tyler is not filthy? We're going to get you out of real deal every time, period. I tell my haters, hurry up and die, bitch. You're taking too long. Put the gun signs up, baby. Wow! <laughs>